We live in an age of amazing technology. But for some people, just being a consumer of off-the-shelf gadgets isn't enough. If you're bored with this and looking for something more exciting, why not take a trip around the world at the speed of light? Delta Kilo 8, Lima Golf, this is Mike, X-Ray Zero, Sierra, Sierra Whiskey. Okay, thank you, Frank, for coming back to my QRZ call. My name is Adam, as in Alpha Delta, Alpha Mike, Alpha Delta, Alpha Mike, Adam, Adam is my name. I speak we all love to communicate. Amateur radio takes you beyond being a mere gadget user. It challenges you by putting you in charge of the technology. The bit that always interested me in the amateur radio was always the construction. One of the big things I've been interested in constructing is uh, using the Raspberry Pi in amateur radio because it's a small single board computer. It has a lot of potential, a lot of opportunities. So we're building a radio uh, receiver. Okay. And so I'm just on the part which is the demodulator. This is a hobby with hundreds of different ways to have techie fun. Using this simple ham radio transceiver and a good antenna, you can talk to other amateurs around the world and you can do it from almost anywhere. I'm at a portable station. The radio signals you transmit travel around the world at the speed of light. No internet connection or mobile phone signals are needed. Just your own skills as a radio ham. I'm 11 years old and I'm about to do the foundation license here in England, over. I got into amateur radio really to get a greater understanding of technology. I spend so much time on my phone, on laptops and really have no idea how any of it works. It was a really, really welcoming experience for me, um, a really great community and really, really easy to actually do. In disaster situations, when normal communications are out of action, amateur radio still gets the message through which is why many hams belong to organisations that train their members to provide emergency radio links when needed. I like the practicality of being able to send a message and know how to get something out to someone under your own steam, so kind of making it yourself and I'm very interested in being able to do the electronics, being able to build things, being able to be self-reliant. Um, in communication, I think that's really interesting. It's great fun talking to other hands in unusual and sometimes exotic places around the world and beyond. The International Space Station carries ham radio gear on board and there's always licensed amateurs among the crew to use it, such as Commander Doug Wheelock. Uh, I've really enjoyed using the ham radio and uh, talking to ham radio operators all over the world. Radio amateurs around the world also build and launch their own satellites, and hams anywhere can use them for space communication experiments. And of course, to chat to each other. Golf 1 X-Ray India Echo. Uh, Golf 1 X-Ray India Echo, uh, Golf Bravo 1 Yankee Oscar Tango America afternoon, uh, five and nine. We're using SA50, which is an FM uh, transponder uh, satellite, which was going over from uh, about west to north, around uh, 70 degrees elevation. When computers and radios come together, there's a whole bunch of new opportunities for hands to connect by radio, sending text, transmitting pictures or real-time video, even displaying data from an amateur radio satellite orbiting the Earth. Mike 6, November, Yankee Kilo. CQ, CQ, CQ. GB1, Yota. I got started in amateur radio because I'm a girl guide leader and I wanted to take up a hobby that I could do with my brownies. The interesting aspect of amateur radio is that you do learn how it works and um, you get to communicate with loads of different people, find out about different areas of the world. You learn a bit more about the science of how it works and you have a much more profound understanding of something, a technology that is going on all around you. In amateur radio, sport and radio fit together well too. I'll take another bearing in a minute because I don't trust that. These guys are trying to locate hidden radio transmitters, racing against each other and the clock. 
Amateur radio is a fantastic hobby for anybody who loves technology. I've only really been involved in the hobby for a really short amount of time and I've been speaking to people all across the world. It's a really, really inviting community. One minute you're speaking to somebody about amateur radio and it leads on to so many other discussions about other different technologies you may not have even thought of. So if you do get a chance, come and join us.